with another unboxing and this time it's it's probably more of a un, un, unbagging really because I went to Ikea which I never really go to because um, I've got no reason to really um, and to pick up the the Virgil Abloh and Ikea collaboration it's the second day today I couldn't get entrance to the first day but I'm just going to show you what I got um, you know Ikea it's just it's so random although the hot dogs they're a bit different this time not as snappy bread was a bit disappointing but maybe a little bit bigger I, I went for the deluxe pickles and onions so let me show you what I got <clears throat> I was only allowed to buy five things you only allowed to get one for what well, one of each of the carpets and five as much as you know you could get five of the same bag there's not like one of each item um, but the what was what was poor was that the clock was sold out, which I wanted, and the Mona Lisa, which looked cool, but I didn't really care. So, I didn't get any big objects, I just got um, the bag, so I'm going to tell you about the quality of that. The small one, two of these bigger ones, and just the pillowcase as well, the, the cushion cases, and that's it. I wasn't allowed to get any of the rugs, because my, my missus don't like them, and I actually don't even like the furniture, they just looked... Kind of, it doesn't go with my style. Not for me. Let's say that. So, in regards to the bag, it is a big, massive, brown paper bag for seventeen quid. It's reinforced paper, at least. You know, it does feel pretty durable. When I got there, it was a lot thicker than I thought. So, I was like, why not? But the stitch is not great. Look, you can see right in the camera the light. You can see the light coming through that stitching, so I can't imagine this is going to hold much. But this would be great for trainer boxes. I could probably put one, two, three, three trainer boxes in there easily. But what was disappointing, actually, in the sample pictures of Virgil Abloh um, wearing this bag, he actually had a yellow shoulder strap. And that don't come with this one, which is really, really disappointing, because that would have made it a lot more practical. And you can't even put this over your shoulder, the, the handles. But all in all, this is not one of those typical blue IKEA bags where it's like plastic and seems to be more durable. I don't see this lasting a long time. So actually for a paper bag, 17 quid, it's, it's actually quite expensive. And I reckon, get this wet, it's game over. So what it has on the front is sculpture. To be honest, I don't really know what that means. Um, I think Virgil Abloh did this whole explanation. You could probably go Google that. So on the back, you've got this, you've got the kind of off-white looking writing. But although this isn't off-white, this is a Virgil Abloh collaboration. So just to bear that in mind. Inside, plain, just comes with the marker rad uh, price tag or hang tag. And some IKEA branding handles. Let's put that aside. The small one, exactly the same. This is probably more useful to be honest. The other one is, is quite large. And you get exactly the same for carrying. Thank you very much for that advice. And it's a little bit more, more of a everyday, you could probably use this one everyday where the other one is quite large. There you go. So the quality here, <sighs> I don't know, like, yeah, just don't get it wet. Thickness, it does for cardboard, apparently it's reinforced plastic um, plastic paper, so hopefully maybe it will last the test of time. I don't know if you can see it. That is, literally does feel like postal paper, but ten times thicker, maybe five times thicker. Oh, there's a... Let me see, actually, does it even have the material? Yeah, plastic reinforced paper. So... Mm, yeah, I don't know what that means, but it's a paper bag with stitching that seems quite poor. Because you can see, look, the gaps of stitching there. It's quite far apart. So anyway, those are the bags. The other things I got were the cushion covers. And they're not square, actually, these cushion covers. They're, they're like pillow covers. Let me see if I can get it open without making a complete mess. There we go. With like sackcloth, sackclothy material. They're not square. They're like pillows that you sleep on type. Rectangular shapes. With this orange Virgil Abloh um, 
text here, text label, and it's plain all around with a ring zip, contrasting black zip with a ring hook zip. It's pretty cool, easy access. If you wait a minute, guys, I'm just going to get the cushion that I brought IKEA to go in it and I'll show you what it looks like puffed up. Hold on. Okay guys, so here it is, puffed up with, a, with the actual pillow on it. The pillow that they displayed the, the cushion in was, is called this, the Jadra, for Jadra. Um, the reason why I actually went for it, because I do have pillows like this at home, but this, is a, this, is, this model pillow is actually quite heavy. It's actually quite a, it went really, I think it went really well with the pillowcase, because the pillowcase is like, rough sack potato sack type cloth so i think with the, the heavy material it went quite nicely with it so i'm going to wipe down my couch because it's pretty plain it's unoffensive um and i bought two so that was quite good that i was able to buy a pair i like doing that and i've got two bags of the same and these two oh, ah, these two bags are the same and the smaller one and that all came to like 60 odd quid, so it could be worse. But but the other stuff there, it, it didn't look like the mirror. I, I did like that, but it didn't have anything like Virgil Abloh distinct. Like in that sample, it said um, distorted, and now it's just plain. So yeah, it's a little bit disappointing. You know, I didn't want to just force buying things like the... the um, toolbox and things like that but you should go check it out i think these they're gonna have tons of so if you couldn't get the event bright invite to go i think there's gonna be tons of these left if you want it and it's a it's, it's quite a useful thing i wouldn't put tons of shopping in it like bottles heavy things um the bedding is there yeah so only thing that was sold at at least wembley uh ikea was the mona lisa and clock and uh, the two, what I can tell off, they had loads of everything else. Oh, and a l massive large rug. I think the one that says keep off for 250 that's gone. And I reckon the receipt one's going to go pretty soon. They didn't seem to have loads of those. But the the, the, the ones they have loads of stock of looks to be the keep... keep, keep wet? Grass wet? I can't remember that one. Anyway, guys, I hope you found it useful. Especially, uh, you know, quick impressions of these bags. Hit and miss, in my opinion, but I do like it. They're quite cool, and I will use it for practical things like, you know, putting um, trainers in this one or a few in that one. Anyway, I uh, hope that was useful, guys. Give me a thumbs up, a like, a subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.